don't know if you've ever worked on shellac before, but it's a really cool knitting technique that makes these sort of diamond shapes. And you do it by working each little section separately. So if you look at it, that's a lot of stockinette stitch on really short rows. And so it's a lot of turning back and forth. So an alternative to knitting across a few stitches, turning back, over and over again is to learn how to knit backwards or make stockinette stitch without turning. And this is actually a pretty easy technique um, once you get the hang of it. So I have a little sample here where I've just knit the first row. And you hold your needles and your stitch your yarn the same way that you normally would. Um, just you after you've knit across the first row the needle with the stitches will be in your right hand and your empty needle will be in your left hand and you'll be working back across. So the way you start is by going through the back loop of the first stitch on the right hand needle with the left hand needle. And then you're going to wrap your yarn counterclockwise. So up over the back and across the top. And then you pull that stitch through and then slide the old stitch off the right hand needle. So you have one stitch on your left hand needle and the rest of them are on the right. So let's do that again. So you go through the back loop, come up across the top counterclockwise, bring the new stitch, and take the old stitch off. And you'll notice that my hands do a lot more moving around probably than a regular knit stitch. And that's just, you'll just have to get comfortable with it enough to find how you hold the yarn and how you work the stitches. It's a little different feeling, but it's not difficult. Just remember to go through the back loop as you form the stitch and to take the yarn up over the needle from the back in a counterclockwise motion. That's what keeps it from twisting the stitches. Which I'll show you in just a second. So there you have a row of knit in the regular way from the left hand needle to the right hand needle and a row knit backwards. And you can see that they look the same. The stitches aren't twisted. And you can just continue in that way, going back and forth, whether you're knitting entrelock or any small piece of knitting that you don't want to turn the work. It's a really cool technique, and I hope you'll check it out.